What's up everyone, Dustin here. Wanted to hop on and give you some quick thoughts from when I went to see A Quiet Place Day 1 yesterday on its opening day. Um, first of all, I think it's a fine movie. I don't think it's a bad movie at all. Uh, the acting is great. I mean, Lupita does not miss when it comes to anything she does, so she's fantastic. I think that the story is fine. The story's consistent with what we saw in the first two films, and I do think it's a good story. Um, the tension's great. There's some really good cinematography. But I don't want to harp too much on the positives because unfortunately a lot of the positives in this movie are just, you know, positives that we've come to expect from this franchise. And I don't feel that this movie expanded on anything that we didn't know or pick up on in the second film in the opening scene. So let's get into the negatives. Quick negatives are this movie just felt so unnecessary to me. Um, we already saw, like I said, how day one was, how the immediate aftermath was in the opening scene of part two. And I don't think this one expanded enough or provided any new wrinkles or details to warrant a full film. Um, another negative that I have is, you know, just like in the second one, I felt that they jumped to the conclusion that, oh, if we stay quiet, we're safe. I think they jumped to that conclusion way too fast. It seems a little unlikely. There's a scene in the movie, slight spoiler, where one of the creatures, one of the aliens, gets face to face with a guy, looks directly at him, and he just doesn't say anything, and he's safe. How would he know to just stay quiet? Um, you know, that, that doesn't really work for me. Um, the movie is a fine movie. You can definitely tell that Krasinski wasn't as hands-on with this one. He didn't direct this one, uh, and you know, I saw that he, the story was by him, but I don't think he was, he definitely wasn't the main writer. And so uh, I think that you can tell that because there's a certain things that happen that you're like, okay, this is a little different than the first two movies. Um, not in necessarily a bad way, but just had a little bit different of a feel to it. Um, I feel like the cat was added strictly for dramatic value. Um, and th there were some illogical things that happened in the movie that just made me question it. But overall, it's not a bad movie. I definitely recommend going to see it. It's, it's fine. It's just if you're like me and you criticize movies for being unnecessary, this one's going to really, really stick in your crawl when it comes to that. Um, but otherwise, it's fine.